What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 1. Millionaire Maker. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. Okay guys, this is for the Millionaire Maker slate, which is the Sunday main slate at 1 p.m. Oh, and stick around to the very end of this video after I show you all my picks in the Draft Dashboard tools. I'll show you these players in DraftKings and in FanDuel, the Millionaire Maker slates. There'll be two spots open that you'll have to fill in, but you'll have a great Millionaire Maker core. Okay guys, here are my Millionaire Maker picks for NFL Week 1. So let's take a look at the quarterback position. I like Josh Allen from the Buffalo Bills playing the New York Jets who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they've been middle of the pack defending opposing quarterbacks. Josh Allen averaged 18.6 fantasy points per game on the season last year. He was getting an average of 6.8 rush attempts per game. So that's why I like this pick. I like his rushing ability. He scored 26 fantasy points in the last game that he played with nine rush attempts. He's projected at 3% ownership, so I like that low ownership here in this Millionaire Maker tournament. He's projected at 18.9 fantasy points here in week one. He's 7,900 FanDuel salary and 1,400 less on DraftKings. Now, Vegas only thinks there's gonna be 39.5 points scored in this game. And they have the Bills favored by six and a half. So that's the risk there. You hope this game doesn't blow out versus the Jets. But Josh Allen can get it done with his legs. So I like Josh Allen here versus the New York Jets. Okay, let's take a look at the running back position. My week one millionaire maker running back is going to be Le'Veon Bell from the New York Jets playing the Buffalo Bills who have a good defense overall, and they've been middle of the pack defending opposing running backs. Le'Veon Bell averaged 12.1 fantasy points per game on the season last year, getting an average of 5.2 targets per game and 16.3 rushes per game. He's gonna be about 8% owned, projected at 12.1 fantasy points here in week one. He's only 6,500 FanDuel salary, and 900 less on DraftKings. So the reason that I like this pick here is because even if the Jets fall behind, Le'Veon Bell is involved in the passing game, so he can still get you production even if the Jets fall behind in this one. So I like Le'Veon Bell here versus the Buffalo Bills. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL, MLB is still going, NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the wide receiver position. My week one millionaire maker wide receiver is going to be Adam Thielen from the Minnesota Vikings playing the Green Bay Packers who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they were middle of the pack defending opposing wide receivers. Adam Thielen averaged 9.9 .9 fantasy points per game on the season last year, getting an average of 4.8 targets per game. But remember guys, Stefan Diggs is gone, so Adam Thielen's gonna be the man. He did get seven and nine targets in his last two games last year, and he's gonna be about 21% owned here. He's projected at 12.5 fantasy points here in week one. He's 6,800 FanDuel salary and 100 less on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 46 points scored in this game, so a high scoring game. And they only have the Vikings favored by two and a half. So you got a close game. I'm hoping this game turns into a shootout. So I like Adam Thielen here versus the Green Bay Packers. 
Okay, moving on to the tight end position. I like Hayden Hurst from the Atlanta Falcons playing the Seattle Seahawks, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. Hayden Hurst, he only averaged 3.9 fantasy points per game on the season last year, getting an average of 2.4 targets per game. But remember, he had to compete with Austin Hooper, who's gone now, so he's gonna be the man at the tight end position, and he did score 13 fantasy points off of six targets in the last game of the season last year. He's gonna be about 7% owned, projected at eight fantasy points here in week one. He's 5,200 FanDuel salary and 1,000 less on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 49 points scored in this game, so a high-scoring game, and it's going to be a competitive game. They have the Falcons just favored by one and a half, so I like Hayden Hurst here versus the Seattle Seahawks. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. You've unlocked the bonus content. Okay guys, so here we are over on FanDuel in the draft dashboard lineup optimizer. We have our Millionaire Maker core locked in here. And then we've got Josh Jacobs. Well, let me start from the top here. At quarterback, we have Josh Allen. Running back, we have Le'Veon Bell. And then our second running back, we have Josh Jacobs. And then at wide receiver, we have Deshaun, Deshaun Jackson, who's a big playmaker. He's gonna be about 7% owned. And then we have DK Metcalf, who's gonna be about 8% owned. He gets a ton of red zone targets, so I like that play. Then we've got Adam Thielen, Hayden Hurst at tight end, and now on the at the flex position, we've got Devontae Adams, but we could upgrade to Alvin Kamara or Julio Jones. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick Julio Jones for the flex position, and then we have the 49ers as our defense, so I think this is a really solid lineup here for the Millionaire Maker. I'm gonna go ahead and save this one so I can access it later, make changes if I need to. So once again, we got Josh Allen, Le'Veon Bell, Josh Jacobs, Deshaun Jackson, DK Metcalf, Adam Thielen, Hayden Hurst, Julio Jones, and the 49ers defense. Okay, now here we are over on DraftKings in the Draft Dashboard lineup optimizer. We have our Millionaire Maker core locked in here. So let's see what kind of lineup we have here. We've got Josh Allen at quarterback, and then we have Kareem Hunt at the running back position. He's only gonna be about 3% owned, but I like this pick because he's gonna be involved in the passing game. He should be on the field a ton, so I like Kareem Hunt here. And then we have Todd Gurley, who's gonna be about 14% owned. Now we got Devontae Adams, who's gonna be 13% owned with Adam Thielen. Terry McLaurin, think he's gonna be a breakout player. He was playing fantastic last year. He's got another year of experience under his belt. He's gonna be about 16% owned, and he's only 5,600 DraftKings salary. So I really like that play. Then we have uh, Hayden Hurst at the tight end position, Le'Veon Bell as our flex, and then we have the Chargers defense playing against the Cincinnati Bengals, and they're only 2,800 DraftKings salary, so I like that defense. So I think we got a pretty solid Millionaire Maker lineup here. We have a mix of high ownership players with Terry McLaurin, Adam Thielen, Todd Gurley, Devontae Adams, Le'Veon Bell, who's 11% owned here on DraftKings because he's only 5,600 DraftKings salary. And then we have some low ownership players here. Kareem Hunt, 3%. Josh Allen, 2%. So that, that's a nice mix of higher ownership players. And then we got some lower ownership players to make our lineup unique. And we're using the full 50,000 salary here. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.
Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.